originally from Simpson County, Mississippi, a son of Chicago via Juliet, Illinois. Put your hands together, give a raucous new century soul all night a welcome to the one and only Mr. Willie Parker. It's good to be here. I'm excited about being here, so I'm gonna sing for you this song tonight. The first song that I ever recorded, I wrote for myself at the age of 17, called Looking In From The Outside. Are you ready? All right. Everybody is always minding my business. They try to tell me how to run my life. Say this woman I love is no good for me. And she just won't treat me right. But look at Get on away from me. 
you're going to hear me sing. This, out of all the years, is the first time ever that I performed them. Believe it or not. You, Manchester, you, you are the first to hear me sing these songs live. Isn't that something? And, and I thank you for that. I thank you for I, I thank Chris for bringing me over here to entertain you. And I really do. I hope you have a good time. Are you having a good time so far? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Okay, this next song that I'm doing is uh, another one of my recordings. Sometime, somewhere in, in the 60s or whatever. And uh, on this same label. So, it was fun. It was all, always going in the studio. It was fun. So, let's see. I have to cope. Back. You know, when... when what? It's been about a year ago this month that I talked to Chris, Mr. Waterman, and I have to go back and relearn all these songs again. So bear with me, okay? I'm going to do the best I can. Come on, fellas, let's go to work. Thank you. 
appreciate that. But I want you to be a part of this thing with me, okay? Let's, let's, let's all get in this thing together. We're gonna be a melting pot tonight. Can you help me out? Would you help me out? I want you to join the singers tonight. Because, let me say this, I come to entertain you tonight, but I want to leave you with some good advice. Ladies and fellas, listen. If you got somebody and they love you and they stand by you and they're real good to you, don't take it for granted, okay? Treat them nice, treat them good, because if you hurt the one you love, you're gonna pay for it. Because you know the old saying says, what goes around, come around. Yeah, and then you're gonna be lonely. You're gonna want them back. And they're gonna be unfair. Yeah. Found somebody else and you're gonna be out of the picture. So come on and help me say it. Can you help me? Say it. Don't hurt the one you love. Look at the one who you're with tonight. Look at him, look at him real close, look in their eyes and say, Cause I love you, yeah, and I never heard you, your mom, don't hurt the one you love, don't hurt the one that stands by you, the one that takes care of you, the one that singing a quartet and, and gospel singing and his dad was one of the ones who took me under his wings and we've been good friends forever and we still are and he brought his son with him well his son brought him yeah what a son now isn't that nice for your son to bring you some? yeah yeah but anyway let me introduce to you my brother and my friend and my nephew I want to say James and Derek Brown Give it up for me. Yeah. My friend. Yeah. Bless you. My good friend. Yeah. There were supposed to be more, but everybody couldn't make it. But this next couple people that I'm going to introduce, this one, this one person, I tell you the truth. 
She's my boss where I, back at home where I work. She's my boss. She, 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 she's not, she, she's about that tall, you know? But she's tough. Man, I tell you, she's tough. And she came tonight, her husband allowed her to come. <laughs> my good friend, Jim and Pam Boucher. Come on, stand up, give it to them. My friends, yeah, they came all the way from the United States to be here with me and to be with you, Manchester. How blessed I am. Thank you guys. I appreciate you coming. Okay, moving right along. This next song that I'm gonna do is, it's never been released in the United States. We did the recording and they put it in the can or however you wanna say it on the shelf. And I really forgot about the song. I, I, I didn't even remember the song until, until Chris introduced it back to me. I completely didn't remember. But this is how the song goes. So let's 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 do a few few bars of this song, okay? You ready? Okay. Manchester with all my music 
you gave me new life. And I really appreciate it. The next song that I'm gonna do, and I'm about ready to get out of here, guys. Uh, this song was recorded first uh, around 1960 by a gentleman named McKinley Mitchell. And I can remember distinctly when I heard this song, I was, I thought to myself, man, I wish I could sing that song. I wish that song, you know, I liked the song. I was singing it all the time. Well, when I got with Wonderful Records, uh, they had a song for me, but they didn't have one for the flip side. So they said, how about this? How would you like to do this song, Let the Town of Living? And I was just ecstatic. Man, are you serious? They said, yes. I said, let's do it. And it has become one of my favorite songs. So I don't know if you remember this song or if you know it, but Take a listen, okay? Let's go, folks. Just a string on her coat. 
great people. So, and then least of all, thank you, Manchester. Thank you, wherever you're coming from. Thank you very much. All right, fellas, let's go to work with this lad. Thank you. 
for a few seconds, so would you do something for me tonight? Would you help me? This is my last song, and I only got a couple minutes to do what I gotta do. Would you help my background sing it? Just enough. Do you love it? Do you love the life you live? You live the life you live? Come on, everybody, all over the building.